What is up guys, TSL here, back with a brand new SPTS video. In today's video, we'll have a shorter video and we'll be making it so that our speed power-up gives us more walk speed and that our punch power-up does damage. Alright, so let's get into the video. So before we get started with the video, I just want to mention something that I forgot last video, which is the, uh, the updated posting schedule. It will be Wednesday and Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. And um, yeah, also want to mention once again, our goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by September, so by the end of August. And please guys subscribe so that you can help us reach towards that goal and it will really mean a lot to me if we can make that goal. So, please help me out and let's get started with the video. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make it so that we get more speed. So go into starter player, starter character scripts, add in that new script and call it add speed. So we can do a local character is equal to script dot parent and we can do local humanoid is equal to character colon wait for child humanoid all right and then um then what we want to do is make a wall weight 0. Uh, 0. 0.1 do and actually before this we want to do local player is equal to game dot players colon get player from character char and then in this while wait do we want to do local local speed is equal to um player dot agility dot value and basically we don't want it to be like the same amount of speed um so we should probably like divide it by something but first we have to check um if these so delete this dot value here then we want to check if speed dot value is greater than um six or is greater than like um 20 or let's say 30 then what we want to do is we want to do walk speed or local walk speed local walk speed is equal to speed dot value divided by two so if we divide it by two then we should just check if he has more than 35 speed and yeah and then what we want to do is set the humanoid dot walk speed equal to the walk speed. Whoops, equal to walk speed. Alright, so let's just test this out. Make sure we didn't spell anything wrong. And see if this will work. So right now, obviously, we're not getting any faster because... We don't have more than 35 agility. So let's just get some agility real quick. We're at 22, 26, 30, 34, and 38. Walk speed is not a valid member of that. I think we spelt it wrong. So let's go into our humanoid. And where is it? It should be. It's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought it was. We need to make this S capital, and now it should work. So if we just save this, play it, and um, now what we want to do, just buy our multiplier for agility, and um, just get back to there, don't mind that big cursor, don't know why it did that. Alright, 32, 36. Alright, so we are at 36. We don't have any errors. If we go into our player and our humanoid, you see that our walk speed right now is is 20. 
So right down here is 22 now, 24. And as you can tell, we're getting a lot faster. But um, we're getting a lot faster way too quickly. Because like you can have like trillions or quadrillions or quintillions of speed and still be like this fast. Or maybe faster, maybe I'll have like a hundred or like 80 walk speed like this and um so we just need to fix that so that we get like maybe we should divide by four and um now we want to make sure that um here we can just do if speed dot value divided by four is greater than or equal to 16 then then we'll just make the walk speed equal to speed dot value divided by four so now um now it should be better so let's just do that not really sure what value we need because I don't really feel like doing the math right now so let's just get our multiplier once again and um let's just get our agility higher we're at 1822 let's also while we do this let's just open up our humanoid and um all right so so we are at 54, 58. We're still not. Alright, so we're finally getting some. We have 18.5 speed. And, um, yeah, so we're still gaining kind of fast. We're gaining one, one speed every four agility, which is, uh, it's kind of too much. But, um, it's good for now. So, next thing we want to do is make our punch do damage. So, what we're going to want to do is you should have a, hopefully you have a handle in your strength tool. Basically, a handle that goes around your player's hand. So, it should just like be right on his hand. And basically, what we want to do is use that to take damage to them. So, go into your punch tool, have your handle, make sure that it's around it. If you don't have a handle that's around his hand, make sure you do that now. Um, so yeah, let's insert a script into there, and then we can now do local damage is equal to... Um, so first we have to do some other stuff. So we'll do... So if we... It should be in our character if we are using it. So we'll do... Um, we'll do if we'll do if actually we don't even need an if we'll do local char is equal to script dot parent um dot parent dot parent so the scripts parent is handle then the punch and then the character so we'll do if um, char dot parent is equal to workspace, then that's how we know it's definitely the character. So then what we want to do is we want to well then we want to do local player is equal to game dot players colon get player from character and char. And then what we want to do, local damage is equal to player dot strength dot value. And um, then that's it for that. And we want to check if um, if it's touched. So we'll do local, or not local, we'll do uh, script dot parent dot touch colon connect function hit if hit dot parent is not is not equal to char then um if hit dot parent or if game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent so making sure it's a character, then what we want to do is we want to do um, 
hit dot parent dot humanoid colon take damage damage all right so now this should work and if we save this real quick and we go test test and click start with two players here comes our server and our two other windows should come soon here they come alright so let's just bring them out of the safe zone real quick now we have this nice text up here so that we know when we're in the safe zone and when we're not alright so that actually works out like perfectly with this horrible map like right when you get out of the gates it um you're not in the safe zone no longer so if we just come here and we use our punch tool we're not taking any damage um well let's just look in our server cause I don't really think we're hitting him what if I just like and check our server nothing um, workspace, player two. Okay, so, um, no, that's not what it is. I was about to say because we don't have any strength, but we do. We have 107, especially now that we're using our punch tool. So, if we can just go in our punch tool in our handle, it is hitting him, or it is hitting the other player. So, what we want to do is clean this up real quick and we want to print we want to print hit and then we want to test this Alright, so we hit him. There is no hit thing. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, no, never mind. What if we print the character up here? Okay, so what we have to do is put this in a while wait 0 0.01 do loop and then add an end down here and indent everything. Then make sure that we clean this all up and then make sure that we start a new server and this time it will work. It's just that it would never like it would one run that one time in the beginning when we wouldn't even hit him and then it would not run anymore because there was no loop and it would just stop running the script also guys I please I don't want to hear anymore can you do um, save data next video because I've been telling you that we're working on it and we will get it done but um not yet okay and as you see it works so the reason I killed him instantly because he has zero endurance so his health is only 100 and I have 100 strength and now 101 since I used my punch tool also. Alright guys so that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Remember trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of August and it will really mean a lot to me guys if you all could just hit that subscribe button. Also guys see you in the next video. Bye.